Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. It is Monday, September 12th. I had a look at the calendar. I was not at work at day, so I had a marvelous Monday. My name is Denise Ramson, and welcome to Empathic Sensitive Souls in the Workplace and in Life Facebook group. Tonight, I am going to pull one of these cards again. This one is self-care, and it says mental self. Care involves activities that help declutter your mind and reduce your stress levels. Examples include reading a book, adult coloring, decluttering your home, playing a board game, doing a puzzle, partaking in a hobby. Choose one mental self-care activity and partake in it each day for a week and evaluate how you feel. I could add cutting my sister's hair onto that. I wouldn't do that every day this week, but I find it amazing that taking care of your own mental health, which includes saying no to things you don't want to do, includes taking five, 10 minutes for yourself to do something that you want to do. Laundry is helpful, but that pile of laundry will always be there. How about taking a nice hot shower, a relaxing bath? Somebody else take the kids. Somebody else deal with the phone ringing. Shut the phone off. Shut the computers down. Take time to do something that makes you happy. I have recently got back into making cards. Am I good at it? Well, it takes me about three hours to do one card. And on YouTube videos, they can do four cards in a half hour. So I'm getting better, I think. We'll see. But that's something that I haven't done a lot in the last several years is take care of my mental health. I am now returning to me. I am finding things that I like to do that I want to do, whether it's card making. I enjoy cross stitch. I like crossword puzzles. I play games on my phone, which being on the phone all the time isn't the greatest, but it's something I enjoy doing. I like reading books any kind of book, except for horror. I'm not quite into horror, but reading a paper book, not on the Kindle. I, I enjoy doing that. So I'm going to take time this week, every day this week, I'm going to take 15 minutes, a half hour, five minutes, whatever I have to take time for me to do things for me and me only. Let me know what you do. Put it in the comments below. Do you scrapbook? Do you do hobbies of any kind? Adult coloring books? I love adult coloring books. Of course, my box of crayons went with the kids when they left. So I'm going to have to get more crayons or markers or something of the sort. It never seems to fail that whenever I find cool craft projects to do that, they somehow go to the kid's house. I'm not sure how that happens. I think they hide it in their backpack is what I'm thinking. Anyways, let me know how it goes. I'm going to try it this week and see how it goes. My gratitude journal or my reverse bucket list has been going excellent. I have accomplished things that I've completely forgot about. I went to school. I graduated on the Dean's list and I went when I was 40 years old. That's huge. It's hard to think when you're 40 and you work full time and you take a three credit class or several one credit classes, that's a lot on your brain plus working. Wow, I accomplished it. I did it. And I forgot that. I forgot to celebrate that. So I'm taking the time to celebrate those wins. Cutting my sister's hair and it turned out good. That was a huge win because if it didn't turn out good, oof, I would not like to see what would have happened. I'm glad it was a good haircut. Taking time for me. Learning to say no to things that I don't want to do anymore. And saying no and leaving it at no. No explanation, just no. Or no, thank you. People will get upset. That happens. But shouldn't you be upset if you have to get stressed out and put so much mental strain and stress on you and your life? So no. It's a good enough answer. Join me Monday night, September 26th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I am hosting a free, a free one-hour workshop, Just Say No. It's on learning tips and techniques on saying no. 
and being okay with saying no. No guilt, no shame. Will it happen in one hour? Will you be able to stand up, say no without guilt and shame? Maybe. Some people can. It's taken me a while. I'm still working on it. But every time I stand up and say no, because I know it's for my best mental health, I get a little bit stronger each time. So please join me September 26, Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye for now. Take care.